welcome to another video on power bi interview questions hope you're watching this series from beginning the next question which you may be asked give some examples of the majors we can create using the window function or how to create rolling 12 months averages now rolling 12 months averages you can also create with the help of dates in period but yes windows function can also help you out a windows function is the function which has been released in power bi december 2022 update after that few enhancements has been done in this function so this function is what can help us in quite a few operations now it can help us in getting rolling 12 months rolling 12 months average running total mtd qtd and yt can be many other use cases where we can use window function and as you go along and execute more and more complex scenarios you will find window function is really useful in such scenarios now very recently we have got visual calculations and visual calculations can also help in getting this so we will go ahead and explore the window function and the various things which we can do using the window function on the power bi desktop i'm on the power bi desktop and i'll go to q55 page question 55 page where i'm going to showcase you how can we use window function let me create a visualization first of all so i've created a table visual and in this table visual I plan to take date from the date table and net major. Now let me quickly showcase you my model. So I have a perfect star schema model with the sales table, date table, item table, geography and customer table and all the joins from dimension to factor one to many single directional. I'm going to use this. I have explained you this so that you can understand when I'm creating the time intelligence using the window function what are the relationship which are playing a role so i am ready to create my first major and the first major which i wanted to create is the running total or we also call cumulative so you can use calculate net and then we have to use window function so window function let me explain you the syntax window a window function requires from then from types in the window function we would need this from and type so from could be 0 1 2 3 4 could be absolute then relative also then we have two again it could be absolute and relative so usually zero relative is the current position zero absolute or one absolute is the first position available for the order by and if there is a partition by inside that partition by an order by we'll understand this more with the example relation is the table or all the elements which are there in the visual you should cover as part of relationship order by in this case the order by would be date but we can use the required order by blanks then partition by like when we are going to use mtd qtd ytd we are going to use a partition by match by and reset for the current requirements we will not need them so let me start creating the running total or cumulative for that we will start for one absolute means the first absolute position based on the the window which we are going to supply and this window can be partitioned or unpartitioned we are right now not going to partition it to zero relative means till the current cell now comes the important thing which is relation which is going to be all selected or all in this case i want to use all all date i can use the date table itself or i can use date of date i prefer to use date table then order by in the order by i'm going to use date and how do i need date of the date table ascending or descending because i'm creating running total in the ascending direction so i'm going to give it ascending all other arguments for this particular calculation are optional so now i have created a running total and i'm going to add it to my visualization and as you can see the moment i have added the running total each and every row is getting the value which is sum of all previous row including the current one if this is 15 plus 21 the total is 36 same way 15 plus 21 plus 37 total is 73 in this manner it is keep on adding now this running total formula if we do little bit modification can give us mtd qtd and ytd i'm going to tell you that now so let me copy this formula and after copying this formula let me create a new major and I'll paste this new major. This new major I'll rename as MTD. So you use the same formula. Now, because the date table has multiple columns, from those columns I can also use partition by. So net window one, one absolute to zero relative, all of date table, order by date ascending, comma, leave the blanks, and then I'll use partition by. If I use partition by month, I can use month here from the date table. So what would happen? it will reset this calculation or it will partition this calculation for every month 
and when i bring in the mtd what you will find out that there is a reset which is happening on every first it totals up till the last date of the month and post that you can see on the very first date the numbers are matching and then again it keep on accumulating the numbers and again when the next month comes in again reset and that is what exactly we do in mtd month till date means come from first date of the month till the date available inside the context now the context here is coming because of the row the context may also come in because of the filter now you might have understood how easy it to get 2td and ytd but let's go ahead and create those majors also so for qtd we will copy this mtd major change it to qtd and we'll also change column where we are partitioning to quarter year i need a column which contain quarter and year it makes it easy otherwise i need to take two columns in the partition by one is year and another one is quarter i bring in qtd and it is the standard quarter which i have used in my date table if i go down i should see accumulation ending on the first of january and the first of january value would be same for the net value as well as the qtd value and it will continue to now increase as you observe till i reach 31st march and on 1st april you will again see a reset so this is qtd so now we have got mtd qtd and same way we can also get ytd i'm going to remove quarter year and only give year here if i give a financial year it will become a financial year ytd so i should have a fy column if i want to partition by fy let me drag ytd inside my calculation and as you can see now my ca calculations will reset on 1st january but after the 1st january it will continue to increase till i reach another 1st january as you can observe this is continuously increasing not getting reset the, but the net amount is increasing and on the 1st of january there is a reset so till 31st it will keep on increasing and then there is a reset so we got ytd so now we know how to get running total mtd and qtd and ytd but we have not answered the question about rolling 12 months and rolling 12 months average let's do one thing let's create another page we'll duplicate this we'll call it question 55 hyphen 1 and here in this table i'm going to remove all these things and also i'll not bring in date instead of that i'll bring in month here along with month here i can have net and now here i want rolling 12 i'm going to create another major now the major which i'm going to create here for rolling 12 first i'm going to use the window function calculate net window now here i don't want absolute start i want relative start so minus 11 not minus 12 because current is included so minus 11 relative it's not absolute start it's a relative start then zero again relative relative position now comes the relation now i'm going to do here is all date month year the problem with the month year is it doesn't follow a sorting its sorting is not correct so that is why i need to include one more date column that is nothing but month year sort so i included both month year and month year sort in this case because month year cannot sort properly it does text sorting not the month sorting suppose that i need to give order by so relation is done order by i need in the order by i can now simply give only month year sort i don't need to give month year here we don't need anything else right now and i press enter and my major is now ready and now what you would observe here is it is keep on accumulating now because the accumulation is continuous you would see a minor difference happening here so usually what happens this value and this value addition you will find that this is not 250 to up this is only up by little amount and this was the reason because this amount has gone out and this amount came in and because of that you see very small increase and here you see a large dip in spite of number getting added up the reason this this bigger number is going out and the smaller number is coming in that is why you see a dip here because it is just rolling 12 months now how do i get rolling 12 months average or to do average i don't need the average for the base rows or the row level average i actually need the average of monthly value and to do such things we need to tell power bi that it should sum up till a particular level and after that it should take average and for that so here i have to use average x function 
and inside the average x function the first thing which i need to use is values or summarize here i only have the one column which i need to tell that in that column you need to do a net calculation as a sum calculation which is nothing but sum of net sales or gross sales minus the discount which is again the sum so i can use values so when i have one column i can use values so values date month year here sorting doesn't matter much till month year you do the calculation of net as it has been done and post that you do the average and this is the way we use the rolling 12 months average so this is really important to understand that rolling 12 month average means monthly average not the average coming from row level let me press enter and add this measure into the visualization and as you can see now the values are getting average out is not just like your sum now how do i do this calculation alternatively in case i have been asked to do that what i can do here is i can bring in one more major rolling average one and instead of window function this time we will have the same calculation for average x values we can use dates in period time intelligence function now please remember you must have a date table in such cases without date table these calculation on your column or when you use dot date may not work as expected so first thing is dates which is going to come from date of date table date of date table means i'm giving a set of set or sequence of dates then start date we use max of date of date it means whatever the maximum date available in the context which is nothing but end of month of and from there i want to go 12 months back into the past and the interval is month because i want to go 12 months in the past and that's all the information i want to give in dates in period i close the parenthesis so my major is completed and let me bring the major into my visualization and once i bring this major into the visualization let me check is there any difference in the calculation and as you can see there is no difference in the calculation both of them is giving me the same outcome so in this manner you can give the answer for rolling 12 months so now you have learned how you can use window function how you can provide average of last 12 months or rolling 12 months so in this manner you can answer this question thank you for taking time to watch this video your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series if you have any question or topics you would like me to explore in this series please let me know in the comments below your support is truly means the world to us it's the reason we create and share these videos if you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more please consider liking sharing and commenting it helps us immensely until next time keep learning and stay connected Thank you.